Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video I'll be showing you how I designed this pink lip gloss Shopify website. This website is perfect for lip gloss and makeup businesses and it's mobile and desktop responsive so it looks perfect on mobile devices. In today's video I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado let's get straight into this video. First, you're gonna open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. I'm gonna be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is gonna be the base for our website. Then you're gonna click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is gonna look in full screen. Then when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm gonna click on this header, and under desktop logo position, I'm gonna set this to top center. This way our logo will appear in the center of the page. I'm gonna click on the announcement bar, then I'm gonna display the social media icons. When you click theme settings, then social media, here you can paste the links to your brand's social media pages. And those clickable social media icons will display here on your announcement bar and on the footer of your website. Then I'm gonna remove this announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header and right here you can remove that effect if you would like. I'm gonna open colors, then color scheme 1, and I'm gonna change the background to a light pink color. Then you're gonna open color scheme 2 and change the background to white. I'm gonna click on the header and I'm gonna set this to color scheme 2. Then when you click logo, you can upload your logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend that your logo is in a transparent PNG format. Under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. I'm going to open typography and I'm going to change the main font to the font Cormorant Bold. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to Archivo Narrow Bold. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the header portion of the website. When customers click catalog, it will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, it will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're going to open Shopify, then go to online store, then navigation, and open your main menu. Here you can edit the current menu items and you can add new menu pages. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the slideshow section. To add the slideshow section, right here I'm gonna import a slideshow. Then I'm gonna scroll down and remove this image banner. I'm also gonna remove the featured product collection. You're gonna remove the heading and the subheading, then remove the container. Under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom right. Then I'm gonna apply the outline button style, and then you can select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Next, I'm going to repeat those steps for the second slide. And for this slide, under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Click add block. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for the third slide. And for this slide, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed these three web banners. Alright, I've opened up Canva and I'm going to click custom size. And the dimensions I'm going to be doing for the banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. I'm gonna set the background to a light pink color. Then you're gonna click elements and open their image grids. I'm gonna upload a two grid, then remove the grid spacing. Then I'm gonna upload an image frame. Then I'm gonna duplicate this. When you click uploads, under upload files, you can upload your brand pictures and your product photos straight from your computer. Then you're just gonna to wanna to drag and drop those onto those frames. Then I'm gonna reduce the transparency of this image grid. Under elements, I've searched for a faded circle element and I'm gonna upload one of these onto the page. And this will add a little bit of dimension to the page. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. I'm going to upload another one of these and position this behind that image frame to create a subtle shadow effect. Then I'm going to upload a text box and I'm going to apply the font's authentic signature. Upload another text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase, then apply the font DM Sheriff Display. Then I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text right below it. Then I'm going to click Add Page. I'm going to upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this and position it behind that main frame. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. I'm going to upload another faded circle shape then position this behind those images. Then you're gonna copy and paste this text box. Once you're finished, you're gonna click add page. I'm gonna copy and paste this circle effect. Then I'm gonna upload an image frame. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. I'm gonna copy and paste this text box. And I'm also gonna copy and paste this text box again. Once you're finished, these will be the three web banners for the slideshow. This last step is optional, but I'm going to search for a faded rectangle element. 
and I'm gonna use this to add a little more dimension to the pages. Next, you're gonna download each of these pages in a PNG format for the best quality. Then back here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload that main web banner design. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Then you can add those remaining web banners. Under pagination style, I'm gonna set this to dot. And you can also select auto rotate slides if you would like the slides to automatically rotate. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow section of the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template in a downloadable format in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me putting together throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time. I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the collection list. So right here, I'm gonna import a collection list. I'm gonna set the image ratio to portrait. Then I'm gonna enable the swipe on mobile. Currently, it displays three collections but well, you can increase this number to four or five if you would like. And you can also enable the view all button if you have more than three collections. Right above that, I'm gonna import a rich text. I'm gonna remove the description and the button label. Then when you click on a collection, it will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just categories that you can create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your shop organized. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed those collection covers. Here on Canva, you're gonna click custom size and the dimensions I'm gonna do are 1179 by 1473 pixels. Under elements, I'm gonna upload an image frame. Then I'm gonna change the background to a light pink color. I'm gonna upload a text box Put this in uppercase, then apply the font DM Sheriff Display. Upload another text box, change this to the color white, click effects, then I'm gonna apply the lift effect, and then I'm gonna apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Then you can drag and drop your pictures to represent those collection covers. Next, you can duplicate this page and retitle them to represent those three covers. And next, you can download each of these collection covers. Here on Shopify, when you click Products, then Collections, under Image, you can upload each of those covers to represent the collection. Once you're done, that's how I designed the collection list. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the About Us section. Right here, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the container on desktop. Then you can insert your text for this section. Then retitle and link the button label. I'm going to set this to Color Scheme 4. Then you're going to open a color scheme 4 and set the background to a slightly darker shade of pink than the main background. Right above this section, I'm going to import a rich text. Then I'm going to remove the text and the button label. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2, then duplicate this section. Then I'm going to reposition this below the about us section. That will create a white border effect. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. Under elements, I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate that and reduce the opacity. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. And then I've searched for a faded element and I'm going to upload one of these onto the page. And I'm going to position this behind that image. I'm also going to upload another circle faded element. Next, I'm going to copy and paste of this text box. And I'm also going to copy and paste this text box. Once you're finished, you can download this page, then upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under image behavior, I'm gonna apply the zoom in on scroll. Then under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the about us section. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the shop qualities section. Right here, I'm gonna import a multi-column. Then I'm gonna remove the column background and set the column alignment to center. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a column, under heading, you can list all of the qualities that your store offers. For an example, you can put fast shipping or quality materials. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Here on Canva, you're gonna open that same web banner page and click add page. I'm gonna upload a circle shape. Then I'm gonna duplicate this. Next, I'm gonna import a faded circle effect. Then you can upload an icon to represent that shop quality. Once you're done, you can download each of these icons. Then you can upload each of those here on Shopify. Under image width, I'm gonna set this to half width of column. 
Once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the featured product collection. So right here, I'm going to import a featured collection. Then you can retitle this section and be sure to enable the swipe on mobile and enable the view all button if you have more than four products in that collection. I'm going to set this to color scheme three. Then I'm going to open color scheme three. I'm going to change the background to a pink color. Then I'm going to apply a gradient background effect. And for the gradients, I'm going to do a light pink and a pastel pink color. I'm going to change the text to black, the solid button background to black, the solid button label to white, and the outline button to black. Then when you click select collection, it will allow you to choose which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're finished, that's why I designed the featured product collection. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the displayed customer reviews section. So right here, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to retitle this section and remove the button label. Then I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Then you're going to set the column alignment to center. And when you click on a column, under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in the customer reviews that you'll be featuring. I'll be using this text as an example, and I'd recommend putting the customer's name. And you can also insert a link leading straight to the product they left the review on. And then be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Once you're finished, that is how I designed the displayed customer reviews section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the second web banner section. Right here, I'm going to import an image banner. Then you can retitle this section, then link and retitle the button label. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. Next, I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Then you can insert your brand pictures. Then I'm going to insert a text box. And then I'm going to apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Then you can download this page and upload it here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner section. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the email signup and the blog post section. So right here, I'm gonna import an email signup. I'm gonna retitle this section, then set this to color scheme three. Next, I'm going to import a multi-row, and I'm going to remove this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. These two rows will represent your two featured blog posts. When you click on a row, under heading, you can retitle this section. I'm going to use this text as an example, and you can also write a mini description and a caption to match. Next, you can retitle the button labels and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're finished, that's why I added the email signup and the featured blog post section. And lastly, I'm going to show you how I designed the Instagram post section. So right here, I'm going to import an image banner. And I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. And right below that section, I'm going to import a rich text. And I'm going to remove the text. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click Add Page. I'm going to upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this and position it behind that main frame. And I'll be designing this page in a sort of stair step pattern. Then under upload files, you can upload the Instagram posts that you'll be featuring straight from your computer. Then drag and drop them onto those frames. Next, I'm going to upload an Instagram icon and reduce the opacity of this. I'm going to upload a text box and apply the font authentic signature. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font to Dream Avenue. And I'm going to upload one last text box. Here you can type in your Instagram username. And I'm going to apply the font to Noto Sheriff Display. Then you can download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured Instagram section. And here's the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and you can easily install that Shopify theme file and to your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you'd have to do is just add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is to set up a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included an installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.